Hi everybody, Deb Tucker here from Studio 180 Design and I want to talk to you today about how to update your split rex tool if you happen to have one of the original tools that we created many years ago. There are two lines that we've added to the tools and these are lines that you're going to find are very handy and necessary if you're doing things like our split rex bonus units. The lines that we added were a north-south broken line that come right from the bend. It's on the newer versions, but it's not on the original version. And the other line that we added was what we call an option line. It's a diagonal line that comes out into this angled edge of the tool. We're going to use that line when we make our split rex bonus units. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can add those two lines to update your original tool to our new version of the split rex. So let's talk about that first line. That line that runs north and south parallel to the broad line and drops right down from the bend along the angled edge of the split rex tool. First thing I want you to do is turn your tool over and I like to make my marks on my tools on a piece of Invisigrip. So the first thing that I do is I cover my tools with Invisigrip. Do that and then get yourself a permanent marker. I like the fine line sharpie for doing that and to make that north-south line the other tool that I'm going to need is just a regular ruler. I take my split rex tool. I am going to work on the reverse side so I've flipped it over so that the side that I've covered with Invisigrip is upwards. I'm going to simply take a regular ruler and I'm going to align the edge of the ruler right down here with the tip of this and I'm also going to make sure that the lines on my tool aren't angled or skewed. It looks a little busy when you're looking at it from overhead but what I'm looking at is the point of the ruler matching down here, a line on the tool, aligning with the edge, making sure that I've got a nice straight alignment Take that Sharpie marker. The line on the new tool is broken, doesn't have to be broken. It's just another additional north-south line that we use in some of our projects for some of our piecing techniques. So that's how we add that north-south line. Let's talk next about how we're gonna add that angled option line that comes over here to the angled edge of the piece. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do that, but don't panic that you have to remember all these steps. All of these steps are available in a free download from our website on how to draw these lines. So I'll walk you through it, but you can also read about it in detail by downloading those pages from our website. The first way to make that option line is to create a cardboard template. And to create that, it's quite simple. Just get a Oh, this was the back of a tablet of paper or a heavy-duty cardstock. Take that cardboard or cardstock, take your split rex tool, line up the broad line on the edge of the cardboard, and make yourself a cut along the edge. It has to be at least a five and a half inch long piece, and that's what the instructions will tell you, but cut an angled template to be able to mark that. So once I have that angled template, this is how you're going to mark the tool. Take the tool, flip it over again so that the wrong side of the tool is facing up. I have the base of the tool farthest away from me. Take the template that you just made, line up the raw edge of the template with that broad line. Take your minute to get it as accurate as you can. And once you have those two, the edge lined up with the line, Take your marker and draw an angle going out in this direction. What that's going to give you is that needed option line to be able to make those split rex combination units and those split rex hourglass units. That's how we did it with a cardstock template. There is another way that you can add this line if you happen to have either a V block tool or a corner beam tool. Those two tools both have this same angle, which is essentially the same angle as this. And this is where the other set of directions will have you placing that option line. Start with the split rex tool. We're going to pretend that line isn't on there right now, but I would flip this over. So I'm working from the wrong side on the Invisigrip. Take the 
companion tool, either the V-block or the corner beam, look at the broad line on it and the broad line on the split racks. I'm going to align the broad line with the broad line so that the two wrong sides of the tools are together and I'm going to make sure that the top edge of the tools are lined up the same. So broad line with broad line. I know there's lots of lines on here. You only have to do this once though, gang. Broad line with broad line. Make sure the top of the tools are aligned. Take out your pencil and mark that same option line on there. It's not a line that measures anything. It's simply a line that you use to set up and establish angles when you're doing your cutting. So as long as you take a minute to get that set up correctly, you're gonna be able to go onward with your tool and create lots of other fun units. And if you haven't seen the video yet on the split rec combination unit and split rec hourglass unit, take a minute, plug it in, worth the watch. Good luck with all, see you later.